We got a bit more locker stuff. We got catalog with some reused items that's going to set the world into debate again. And I don't care to talk about what side I'm on. But most importantly, we got the paintbrush nouveau with a bit of an okay skin, bit of a recolor. And uh, the kit is not what we thought. We didn't know the special anyway. But the soap was thought to be line marker, but it's not. It's point sensor, which makes me really confused if Custom Blaster is also going to get point sensor, or is Custom Blaster now getting Curse of Dart? Because you never know now. Uh, two sensor weapons I would consider unlikely, considering how many sensors we already have in the game one of the higher amounts in terms of sub weapon diversity so really curious what we'll see could see our second blaster with a dart but uh that would not be great for custom blaster however of course the big news today with this kit that's getting everyone talking is ten missiles we got ten missiles all right so it's not going to be s blast that gets them probably unless they add two missile weapons but i don't think they're going to do that so, no idea what S-Blast is going to get now. That could be something very different. I'm still curious. There's definitely a lot of other strong options, so we'll see. But my prediction's gone there. Uh, so let's talk about Painbrush. I think this is one of the least used main weapons in competitive play I've ever seen. I really don't see any notable top level representatives of this weapon in Japan or in West. I haven't seen any matches with it at any point of its uh, release. So that should tell you there's probably something wrong with the weapon. Now, I'll be honest, this main kit is pretty mediocre. You know, curling is fine. It helps for a quick mobility option, which is good when you have this windup we'll get to later. And it's a bit cheaper now. But it's still a lot of your ink tank on an ink hungry weapon. And then the special of wave is just whatever right now. It's one of the worst in the game. It's very mediocre. It's very easy to avoid. It's just not really that big a deal anymore as people have gotten better. And even the location effect isn't as big a deal sometimes when you're tactical. And if you really want to push that argument, if you're going to push the enemy team with cooler, then at that point, maybe being located isn't as big a deal anyway. But, you know, this kit is whatever. I do think the new kit is better, uh, very unsurprisingly. Sensor might be better for it than curling. It is really hard to say. I think that sensor is very cheap. It's very easy for this weapon to use, to locate people. Dart could have been a cheaper movement tool, but I think this is still better. I think point sensor's utility is still pretty good right now on the right weapons. I think as a whole, sensor has good niches against rollers or sharking weapons and just in general gives a good amount of location info like it's pretty nice on stuff like machine neo or nautilus i don't really know if pain brush is the weapon that wants to be throwing sensors but at least it's a sub it can actually use which is kind of important when the weapon is so ink hungry the special that matters though is of course ten missiles now I haven't seen a lot of people talk about it, but since the missile nerf, missiles aren't really as insane as people remember them. That 15% radius reduction on their landing affects every single missile, and that makes the hitboxes here a lot smaller. You can see, like, right here, this outside dummy only took 60 damage when he wasn't marked, and he had a guy right here. This distance is pretty small. In fact, a Zooka hitting around here would probably hit this dummy. However, missiles only hit two of them on this guy. So the missile hitbox is actually pretty decently fair. And on top of that, it still has that 10 second cooldown, which is a big problem. 10 seconds before you can farm another special is a big deal. So I think both of these mean that missile is not as insane as stuff like Booyah Bomb or Jetpack or Crab Tank or Zooka or Cooler. It's still pretty good. But keep in mind, it's not as high up. Painbrush also isn't going to get a lot of coolers. Painbrush paints decently, yeah, but look at how long it can paint. Now, this is without any savers. You know? 
I'm about the way to a wave breaker. I've painted a decent amount, but that's assuming I can just paint an entire area that I already control. And keep in mind, if I ever have to stop flicking in one area, I have the wind up again. And you know, you have 50 frames of waiting. So speaking of which, let's talk about the wind-up. The wind-up is the main problem with paintbrush. They fix the ink efficiency, they fix the damage, but the wind-up is the biggest problem with this weapon. Anytime you want to do anything with the main weapon, there is a 23 frame delay. 23 frames before you can flick and then roll. 23 frames before you're dealing damage. If you need to move mid-fight, if you have to swim to fall upon an opponent, you have to have another 23 frames before you can flick again. Right? That's a huge deal. Anytime you want to do anything, but the main thing is moving. A lot of time brushes are going to jump, flick at someone, then swim and follow up. And for paintbrush, this process is unbelievably slow. Even though the weapon paints its own feet much better than other brushes, like you can see I actually have a trail to move through, this is still just so much slower because of that delay. And I don't know if paintbrush really has the tools to overcome that problem. Even if it had a really good kit, I would question it honestly. It's just a long time, 23 frames is over a third of a second. And right now I think that delay is just too long. Will we maybe see a bit of this paintbrush? Yeah, I could see like flounder, maybe humpback, some of the very uh, off angle AOE type things where you could really see weapons with the ability to hit over corners thrive, where a sensor could be really valuable, where missiles could be really valuable. I think we could see it on places like that. So it's not impossible to see use on it by any means but I don't think it's gonna be very much. At the very least, I'm happy that the kit is pretty decent. Like all things considered, we have been a little bit uh, less safe with the kits this season, I guess. We've had more powerful kits all around. Still nothing that super stands out unless if the new squeezer kit is really good, like if screen is strong. But like the pencil kit's been solid. This is more of the main weapons problem than anything else. Uh, I like Sunder's kit, still. I think our, uh, Tactical Lure would have been better, but still not a bad choice. I think overall we're a pretty decent start for kit quality this season, and hopefully that means some of the rest of the stuff we'll see will end up being alright. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows, though, so. We'll have to see what happens as more of them come out, so. Yeah, um, small extra update. I will start recording these on a vacation setup. For Friday and if there's anything Monday or Tuesday morning I'll have to do that then as well going on a little trip so if the mic quality is noticeably worse that is why it will probably be a laptop mic but we'll take care of that when we get there thanks for watching bye